This episode of Film Learner is brought to you by AE Juice and their animation presets bundle. So roll the thing. This video sponsored. Woo! Oh my God, it's so juicy! Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And that's right, we're back at the desk again for another review, and this time we're taking on AE Juice and their animation presets bundle, which includes their 2D presets, their 3D presets, and their text presets. All up, that's around about 5,000 animation presets. That's a lot. Whoa, what? Exactly. Now guys, you may remember that last month we reviewed AE Juice's Liquid Elements Bundle and their awesome free pack manager. And I just gotta say right off the bat, just like with Liquid Elements and the pack manager, this pack does not disappoint whatsoever. So how about I shut up for a second and we check out their promo video. Now let's face it guys, promo videos are all nice and all, but how about we just jump into After Effects and see if this works for ourselves. Okay guys, so here we are in After Effects and I've just set up a really quick comp, so I've roughly got 18 different parts in here and I've just locked the background. So there's a lot of things in this comp, a lot of individual layers. So I just want to show you how easy it is to animate these with the 2D and 3D animation presets. Now for example, let's just do the 2D one, so I'll just double click on it. And you can see we have a bunch of different options here. We've got position, position and rotation, position and scale, position, scale and rotation, scale and scale and rotation. And you can see each one of these has an example GIF that shows you the animation. So if we just wanna be completely random, all we need to do is just come down here, hit Control A, select all our layers, and we can just hit animate. And you can see it's done. It's added animations in and out to every single layer. And if we just check out a preview, you can see it's already done. Animation's already done. And that took, what, half a second? So that's one of the ways you can actually apply animations using these presets. But there is another way if we just undo that. You can also just go in here and just individually select, say, you want this one. You want just hit control. You can also hit this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And you can see each time it's actually highlighting that I've selected seven different animations. And then we just hit animate. And you can see now that it's applied them randomly across the entire comp. So we'll close that out and just preview that. And there you go. So that was extremely easy to add those animations. Now if we just undo that, there is another way we can do this too. And that's just by going in individually and just pairing these with their own individual animations. So say we just animate that one. So we can just go down and just keep animating them like so so we can animate them individually or just as a group as well but this one is a pretty simplistic comp so let's check out a couple more examples now let's just have a look at a couple more complex examples so this one here is just a whole bunch of pre-comp layers and a couple of bits of text so let's just highlight all of those we'll head to pack manager this time around, I think we might just go 
Let's just click off everything and just let it do its thing. Now this could be bad, it could be good. Let's just check out a preview. That's not bad. It's not great, it's a bit too wacky for something that's called social media marketing video. But you can see just how quick that was. Now, if we don't like that, very, very simple to change. We'll just go into the pack manager. And we'll just say, maybe that was a bit much. And we'll just click off everything. We'll hit animate again. And it's gonna show us a different result. So you can see that this one is a lot more understated than the other one. I like this one a lot better. So let's just go with that one and move on to the next example. So in this example, I just want to show you how manually we can create a lower third using these animation presets. So I've got my logo, I've got my text, and I've got a shape layer underneath. It's a pretty basic lower third, but we can easily build something with the animation presets. So we'll open up Pack Manager, and we're going to start with the text. So I'm going to go to the text presets. And that's pretty cool, so let's just go with this one. And this time around, I just want the in point, so I'm just gonna double click on in. And there's our animation, done. Next up, let's go with the logo. And this time around, I'm gonna do this in 3D. So we'll close this one out. Open up the 3D presets. And I, I, I like this one, so I'm gonna double click on that one. We'll bring that in. So this is what we've got so far, not too bad. I'm also gonna bring this along a little bit, I think. That way the logo has time to get in, then the text comes in, and I might bring that logo above there. Lastly, let's go to the shape layer, back to pack manager, and I think we're gonna do 2D presets on this one. That way we've got one from each of the presets. Hmm, let's go with scale and rotation. Hmm. Okay, let's go with this one. Double click on the in. Let's see what we got. That's not bad. That's not bad for 10 seconds work. I can live with that. So you can see guys just how versatile this is by just looking at these examples. You've got a whole bunch of different elements being animated at one time or staggered or manually and it's super easy to customize all these elements and that I think is pretty damn cool. So guys, that is the animation presets bundle from AE Juice. So juicy As you can see guys, this thing is stupid easy to work with. You can literally animate an entire composition of layers in one click. And for those of you who like to get your hands dirty and have full control over it, you have the ability to manually add animation to every single one of those layers regardless. And with a variety of 5,000 plus animations, I don't think you're ever gonna run out of combinations. Now, as far as negatives go, guys, sometimes I'd say that when you highlight every single layer in your comp and you hit that animate button, you're not gonna be happy with the results 100% of the time. Sometimes it takes hitting that animate button maybe two or three times before you're happy with the randomized result, or you can just go in there and animate groups of them at a time. So how randomly you want your animated layers or how controlled you want your animated layers is completely up to you. So guys, if you wanna save yourself a bunch of time animating 2D and 3D and text inside After Effects, I'd highly recommend picking up AE Juice's Animation Presets Bundle. If you wanna check out this bundle or any of the products from AE Juice, by all means, click that link down in the description or click the button on the end screen. So juicy, ya. Yeah? But guys, that's gonna do it for this review episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. We are gonna be back for another effect next week, so keep an eye out for that. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got Twitter episodes right over here. I've got my social media and crap around here with the Patreon if you want to support us on the channel or if you want to support us directly on YouTube, just click that join button below. And until I see you again, guys, keep learning.